our defender. Do you know that the Lord is the one that fights and wins our battles for us? Yemi Adepoji, BDG YouTube channel, presents to you, Olu Jami. I can assure you that as you watch this movie, that your spirits will be stirred up and it will come to the realization that there is no battle the Lord cannot win for us. Remain blessed as you watch. Osanobua, we never prayed for a meeting like this. <laughs> but why? 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 Why all this? Elder, Elder, as if they cry now, waiting your experiment we do the rest of us, eh? Eh? And I talk on. I talk on that time that Henry should not marry this outcast. Ah. God will. Why they talk like that? <laughs> ah, that is not good now. Instead of us to comfort this innocent lady, see the way you are talking. Comfort. What you people don't know, be say. What the young ones need to see, the elders see why seated. You better don't put your mouth in, 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 in any matter you don't understand. Not be you, not be you encourage any that time to marry this witch. I don't talk out. Ah, ah. God win. God win. Why they talk like this now? <laughs> eh? Those words are too harsh. How can you conclude for God's sake that this girl killed our brother? Eh? Why should you talk like that? So you think I will kill my own husband, the father of my son? Why will I kill him? You better stop this, your crocodile tears. Nobody say I think. I am sure. If you not say not be you, killer, go perform the last ritual. Huh? What rituals again? Eh? What <laughs> one man should do again? Hmm. You told her to sleep in the same room. With the with the body of her dead husband, she did. <laughs> you told her to swear she did. <laughs> this woman, since she arrived this village, she has been sleeping on the bare floor, covering herself with palm leaves as part of the rituals. And yet you are still saying she should do something. <laughs> uh, you know, let me consider. What do you want make she do again? She needs to do the final ritual. She has to drink from the mixture of water and sand from the grave on top of every grave. Ah. Hey, hey, hey. We can't be deceived with this your yeah, yeah, cry. Wait it, wait it. God will. She will not do that. Ah. That is wickedness. You can you taste from the ordinary sand on the ground? Talk less of a. Uh, that of the graveyard. That is wickedness. Ah. She will not do it. She must do it. She never do it. She will 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 do it. She must do it. She will 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 do Mm, I know what to do. I am postponing this meeting until the two of you can think with your heads.
Bimpe. See, as I was telling you, don't mind my brothers. Hmm? You will no longer sleep in that lonely room. Again, <laughs> I will give you a room here where you will sleep and cover yourself with clothes and not leave. Thank hmm? you, sir. Thank you, sir. The elders say that no matter how bad it is for a person, there will always be somebody that will stand by him. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Let's thank God. Eh? Thank you. You see, my, my, my late brother was not like that. Yes, eh? Welcome, our husband. Uh, yes. Thank you. Yes, sir. Uh, where is uh, Uju? Fide Kitchen. Uh. Uju! Uju! Ah! Uju! You're welcome, sir. Uju, thank you. What's she doing here? Ah. She's supposed to be seclusion. Uh, I don't like the way my people are treating her. Uh, now I make her bring her. Make she can't rest here. Uh, she will see there a seclusion for her. Ah. Uh, uh, Bim Queen, Sir. I'm sure you know my wives. Uh, this one is my first wife. Uh, this one is uh, my second wife, would you? Good day, ma. Good day, ma. You're welcome, madam. Thank you, ma. Ah. God will comfort you. Amen. You will go take care of the guest room for Bim Queen. My husband. Why visit us room? Make she day with me. She go need person to talk with. You know, say she needs make she rest. Ah, ah. And besides, she day seclusion. Ah. I won't make she rest. I don't want make anybody disturb her. That's why I want time. Go prepare. Ah. Go prepare the place. Yes, yes, sir. Ah, that's why I want time. <laughs> be, as I was saying, if good make person they good. sorry for sending for you this late in the night you see i have something very important to discuss with you and i don't want any other person to hear our discussion mm. god win i know the death of henry Pains you so much. Hmm. I'm not happy to. In fact, I don't even know how my body is doing. But in taking actions, we must never allow the innocent to suffer as the guilty. Hmm. If we say Henry's wife knows about his death and she knows not. Hey, I'm afraid though, oh, also no boy will be hungry with us. Oh. Elder, elder, see, eh? That woman knows about the death of our brother. <laughs> she cannot go and punish. <laughs> Godwin, how are you sure? Are you sure of what you are saying? Eh? Hmm. This woman may be innocent. Let me shock you. Godwin, I had a dream. Yes. And in the dream, I saw our brother Henry. I saw him with my two eyes. And he told me emphatically that 
his wife is not guilty that eh? his wife is not involved in his death at all and he took him he took him and demanded that we must not allow his wife and only child to suffer now listen to me godwin if the ear refused to eat the warning you know when you cut up the head the ear will also suffer with the head hmm. Huh? My head. Uh, the woman is wicked. What do you want me to do now? Eh? Good question. Godwin, this is what I want you to do. Please, I take God beg you. All those who want to ferment trouble, let them continue. Lead them to do their trouble. But as for you, please. Don't do any trouble at all. Leave this woman alone. Let her go freely without any guilt. Please, I take God beg you. Child. Child. Huh? Sir, I don't know who told the elders that I killed my husband. How can I kill someone that was so loving? He loved me so much. And I, I, I love him so much, I don't even know how I'm going to get through this. Your brother was a very caring man. He was a loving father. There's no woman that would want to lose that kind of a man. So why would I kill him? Eh, uh, Mingpe, you see, if nobody believes in you, I, Bernard, will always believe and support you. You hear me now? I will defend you. Yeah? You have nothing to fear. Thank you very you much for your fear. support, sir. Thank you very much. I don't know what I've done to deserve this kind of favor from you. Thank, thank, thank you. Uh, thank God, thank God. Eh? Cheer up, eh? Cheer up, cheer up. Eh? Cheer up. Cheer up. Thank you, sir. Mm. You will not weep again. Amen. Mm. Uh. Dream. God bless Uncle Bernard for this much needed help at this time. I don't know how I would have. <laughs> I don't know how this time would have gone on. Ah. Night. Uh, why can't you wait till daybreak? Ah, no, 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 no. It's a procrastination. It's dangerous. I have to tell you tonight. It's very important. <sighs> so, uh, why are you locking the door? with you is very very important it's a top secret i don't want anybody no no to no, no, no no i'm not comfortable you locking the door please 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 not with two of us at this time of the night please please let's leave that door okay okay, okay. okay. Let thank me you just, let me just close it like this 
So, what is it that you want to discuss at this time of the night? Eh, you see, your late husband, my brother, ah, he was a very good man. You know, he took good care of you. We are generally like that in our family. Eh, we are like that, all of us. <laughs> eh, won't you say something to what I just said? What do you want me to say to the nothing that you just said now? And I don't want you to miss this, our good family. So, I want to put on the shoe that my brother left behind. Shoe? Yes. My husband left so many shoes behind. So, which one exactly are you talking about? Don't tell me that uh, you don't understand what I am saying. You see? Your husband was a very good man. I, I am ready to continue where your husband stopped. So, I am your new husband. If your dirty hand touches me again, you will die! Stop shouting. Stop. I will shout! I will shout! Stop shouting. Let me just assume that I did not hear what you just said. Please leave my room. You want me to send away my two wives? I will send them. If I can send them away tonight because of you, I will send them away. So that you, my dear, I can send all of them away. Who do you take me for? Who is your dear? Are you out of your mind? I will shout! I will shout! I said, see, I have just tried to I have just tried to help you. So out of your mind right now. Please get out of my room. Do you, do you want to kill me? Why did you push me like uh, that? Uh, uh, you know I'm the only one that is supporting you. I'm the one giving you support. Oh. If that is the reason that you've been supporting me, please hold your support. I don't want it anymore. Keep it. Uh, yes. Uh, big, big. See, this thing is... Uh, did you hear me? Please get out of my room. Uh, uh, You are mad. Now I know that you are mad. It's only a mad woman that we have such type of energy. It's only a mad woman that we have energy to push me like this. Because you broke my leg. What? Eh? See, I will deal with you. That's why you've been supporting me since. See me thinking that I found better person. Ah! <laughs> please, please get out of my room. Hey. Kai. Oh God. Hey. Witch. Witch. <laughs> hey, witch. What are you doing here? Yes. What are you doing? We did in case you need us to have massage your body. Sorry for the fault, my husband. I can hold you while you fall now. I called for this meeting so that we can conclude on the matter concerning Henry's wife. Mm. You see, we have to take immediate action so that we can all move on with our lives and so that Henry's wife too can move on with her life. Because since this matter started, it is as if our lives are at standstill. Mm. Not going forward at all. So there is a need for us to move ahead. And there is this saying by the elders that if you hold a man down, you hold him down with your hands so that he won't move forward. So even you holding the person down cannot move ahead with your own life. 
Our elder, thank you. Thank you. I'm in support of what my elder just said. We need to move on with our lives. Eh? Let's leave everything for God. It is true. I am also in support of what my elder has just said. Mm -mm. In fact, I dare appear say you don't change your mind. <laughs> <laughs> you see, my people. You see how God works. God has settled everything. Yeah. Since you are in agreement, God me, and you are in agreement, I am automatically, you don't no need asking for Bernard's opinion. We know that he is totally in agreement of this. No way! No way! Somebody killed my brother. And you are saying we, 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 we should let her go. No! No! If everybody here leaves her, I, Bernard, I don't go leave her. She must be punished. Ah. Now the dream will wait. Ah. My, my, my people, I'm, I'm confused. Though. Ah. I am totally confused. Hey, ah, Bernard, were you not the one supporting Henry's wife yesterday? When we were discussing this matter, this issue, I... you were even ready to fight for me. Okay, yeah, I was supporting her because I did not know the truth. And I am ready to die for the truth. Which truth? Ask him. Bernard, which truth did you discover overnight? Which truth? Tell us. I don't need to tell you anything. Leave the matter for me. It's between me and that witch. Ah. Ah. Bernard, see the way the world said. Bernard. Ah. This boy, <laughs> abomination. You even get my command when behind her, they on the seat. Chai. The lad. You surprised all of us for that meeting. All of a sudden, you just changed your mind. Huh? Why? What do you know that we don't know? I no hold anybody any explanation. Ah. All I know is that I must deal with that witch of a woman. Hmm. 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 I go change my mind. I go change my mind. We will fight the woman together. We will fight that battle together. I'll change my mind. You day serious with what they talk to? Yes. You know, I will not want to change before. But now, I will change. <laughs> we are fighting the battle together. <laughs> Thank you. Well, now, God win. <laughs> See, me, I know, say you'll be my better person before. Before that wicked woman can spoil our matter. See, eh? Uh, may, make you, you know, you, you, you can't take from my pen one. <laughs> hey, would you? Uh, uh, would you? Uh, oh. I, I forget. My two wives don't go market. Oh, oh. <laughs> make I get you calabash. No problem. <laughs> uh, uh, I dare have you say we go find the wicked woman together. Uh, you, I know, say you must know something. Tell me that thing you know about that woman. See, eh? Godwin, don't mind that harlot. Mm. Eh? Hmm. I say, talk. Since my brother don't die, make sure you allow me, Maria. Hmm. Eh? Look, I, I put on the shoe where my brother left behind. Hmm. Ah, she didn't know my brother paid for the body. Why she won't carry the body where my brother paid for? Mm. Go meet another man outside. Sure. Eh? Hi! Nah, nah, nah. nah. The thing where I talk with that, though, she can't refuse. Ah. You say you won't enter your brother's shoe. She can't refuse. Mm. Eh, she said no. Eh, don't you see how beautiful that woman is? 
She beat you. She can't refuse me. Ah. You, Bernard. Chai, chai, chai. Chai. We will fight her. Yes. Now, what do we what do we do now? Mm. I go frustrate her. Go frustrate her. The MSO. I go frustrate her. You know they drink this too. No, they drink. They drink. I don't go talk again. No, I they drink. You know. I have my plans. See, if I tell you my plans, all of you go this scare. Hey, Bernard, you ah, you must tell me. They make we plan out together. Kill that we. And they think say I go enjoy the property alone. As you come be my friend now, I no go give. I go give you part of it. There's no idea. You see that sports car? I like her. I like her. Unbelievable. He was so drunk that he, he was speaking like parrots. He told me all the scheme he will use to make that woman suffer. Only because she refused his proposal. Hmm. Hmm. I can't wonder. Maybe that pine wine where he drink, they make him talk that rubbish. <laughs> you see, pine wine does not make a man to lie against himself. Mm. What pine wine does is to make a man to speak out what it is in his mind. Mm? And you see, when you told me these very words, I was shocked. I then called Henry's wife. Yes, we have spoken. I called her. And I told her that we are before God Almighty, that she should tell me the truth. We had a heart to heart discussion. And she confessed everything to her. She told me that Bernard has been molesting her. Bernard has been putting pressure on her so that she will accept his proposal to marry him. In fact, he showed me text messages and WhatsApp messages that Bernard sent to her, threatening her that if she refused to accept his proposal, it will make life miserable for her. I saw these messages myself. So based on this, my decision is that we should release her to go. Let her go back to the city. Hey, let her go back whenever she chooses to and start her life afresh. Even if she wants to remarry, she should remarry. And the only thing is that she should take care of that boy for us. That is our only request. Hmm. She can go back to the city. With due respect, my Eda. She's going nowhere. Yes. Mm -hmm. Not until she has performed the burial rituals. Ah. Yes. Bernard. Who do you think you are? How dare you challenge my authority mm. as the head of the clan of Aborijiga? Look, I have taken a decision mm. and my decision is final. Uh, <laughs> no problem. Let her go. But please tell her that she has no place to stay in the city. Oh, uh, what do you mean? You are asking, how do I mean? <laughs> By the time she gets there, she will give you the answer. Look at this boy. I think they do this in Look at this small boy. I think they do this in There's no problem. Look, Godwin, go and deliver my message to Henry's wife. And tell her that we are all solidly behind her. Bernard knows me. He knows what I can do. Mm -hmm. He knows. Mm -hmm. Hey. Look, he's just a small boy. Go and deliver my message to Eddie's wife.
Is it good with you? Another? Like this? Okay. You are the salt of my life. See, I promise to ethically hack into your heart. And my love for you is like unlimited data. We would download divine wisdom and we would upload patience and truth in our relationship. Big way. Your name is forever imprinted in the hard drive of my heart. <laughs> See, all these terms and conditions I sign with the ink of my blood. You'll accept to be my wife. Yes. 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 <laughs> Thank you. Yes, yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah. Hey, sorry, sorry, my dear, sorry. Careful. Ah, sorry. sorry, eh? Take it easy. Yeah. Take it easy. Yeah. Uh, no, no. Sorry. I should be telling you, sir. No, no, no. I can be telling you sorry, okay? That's the meals. Thank you. Going. Uh, ah! What? You what should was? sit gently. Are you scared me like that? I was you want me to sit down? Sit down. <laughs> gently, please. Don't worry, I'm fine. Thank you. Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> you want me to sit down? I was going to sit down. Eh? <laughs> Babe, yeah. the news of you getting pregnant uh -huh. is the greatest news I've heard all my life. <laughs> take it easy. Yeah, we are both excited. Just take it easy. So I'm going to be a father. Uh huh. And you'll call me Baba Bongbo. <laughs> so what if he's a girl? Baba Bongel. <laughs> okay. I met you. Baby, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Please, let's go home. Let's go home. God has given us beauty for us. Oh well. Let's oh, go well. Home, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, what are you trying to do? I want to wear my seatbelt. You want to press the head of my baby? <laughs> it's not possible now. Ah, baby, it's possible. It's not possible. It is possible. It is possible. You, you, you want to press the head of my baby with the seatbelt. <laughs> okay, what if as you are going now, road safety stops us on the road? What no, will you I'll do? tell them to arrest me. Arrest you what? As and the then leave the me as what? We'll go together. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, this girl is to protect this baby. Let's just go, eh? Okay, okay. It's to protect the baby, Jerry. Oh. Uh, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, thank you. I'll do it myself. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Yeah, pity you. You know you are just acting. <laughs> oh, James, my loving husband. I can never replace you. Indeed, your name is imprinted in my heart. Bing Bing? Ha! Bing Bing? See, we have concluded in the family meeting that now you are free. You can go to the city, live your life. Eh? You are free. Do anything with your life. You see, uh, the vehicle that will carry your load to the city is outside. One of my boy will come and help you carry your load. We go. Bimpe. Not the cry again. Not the cry. God we help you. He go there with you and take care of your picking. Not the cry. Bimpe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you. Thank you. What happened? You are really emaciated. You don't have to kill yourself too after your husband's death. Bridget, I went through hell in that village. I can't explain what I passed through in the hands of my in-laws for the past three weeks. Ah, I can't wish it on my enemy. I'm just thankful and grateful to God I'm out of that place because... This is well with you. Ah, Thank God for joining me, sis. I'm glad you're back. Thank you. Where's my son? He's fine. In fact, he has a very good school. Everybody rallied around him. The management, his teachers, his classmates. He's doing really fine. And the counselor too is doing a good job for him. Oh God, I'm listening to so, so, should I take you to my place so that I can rest for you? Ah, no, 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 no. Please, just please take me to our house. I need to like settle into my new reality squarely. Okay. I need to face it squarely. Yeah. It's okay. I have your face with me. Thank you. All right. What's it happening? It's not, it's not opening. Mm. It's not going in at all. Ah. What could be the problem? I don't know. Mm. Are, are you sure this is the key? It is the key, Abby. Let me check. There's no other key here. Abby. This is the key to the gate. This is the key to the main entrance. This is my room's key now. This is the only key. Okay, and uh, let me pick the one with me. Okay. Then let's try let's that. Let's try that one. Hey, what is it? Let me try this one. Okay. Hey, Bo, this was the key I used the ah, last time Madame, I came here and it's opened. Welcome, Bo. Ah, it is you. well with you. I didn't know you were back. I mean, I'm, I'm just returning. It is actually. well with you. You're thank welcome, you. my sister. Thank you. Thank the Lord will sustain you. Thank you. Mm. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. <laughs> Madam, yeah? is the key not opening? It's not entering. It's not even entering at all. Wow. Uh, let, let me try. Let me, let me help you. Thank you. Do I have any other? Oh, Madam, yeah. sorry, this is not the key to the gate. Ah, this is the only. This is the key I've always. I want the extra key myself. The one that she used. Abby, Abby no, no, Abby no. Abi, what? So Abi, no. What? What? The man you sent to pack your things told the people he came with to change the key to the entire house so, for security reasons. The man I sent. Yes. Yes. Your uh, husband's yeah. relative. Um, I've seen the man a couple of times in your house when your husband <laughs> was alive. He was here yesterday. Mm -hmm. I asked about oh, you. Mike. He said you are doing fine. That you told him to bring all your properties to the east. Everything. He packed everything. Okay. The, the house is now empty. <laughs> Did you send anyone? I didn't send anybody. Oh. Uh -huh. The wise one. I have come to pay my pledge. Hmm. <laughs> I promised that if the operation is successful, I will give you 200,000. <laughs> yes, yes. 
Uh, we were able to clear everything in the house, hmm. not leaving a pain behind. Hmm. And just like you said, we entered the house and nobody stopped us. Huh. But, 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 sir, you should have told <laughs> to inform her now. At least you have her number. You see, honestly speaking, <laughs> I can't ah. explain what came over me. <laughs> I can't explain. The same with me. I was just watching as the man told the nine empty men he brought to pack everything in the house into two big lorries and to change the key to the house. The charm you gave me really worked. <laughs> the wise one. Yes. Eh... Uh, we have sold the two vehicles okay and the building hmm. so here is my promise <laughs> <laughs> you see eh, bernard you are a good son and the girls are happy with you <laughs> so um what about um the wife ah. that foolish woman she should be in the city by now <laughs> if she had consented to be my wife We'll be enjoying everything together now. Of course. I've seen him several times in this house. Um, <laughs> the name is um, Ben... Oh. Ben... 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 Ah. Will, will you just be crying? Won't you say anything? I know who this is. I know who this is. Ah. Oh. Ah. Is she as foolish as her husband? I will refuse to give you ordinary five million era that you killed. The wise one. Eh? I, I didn't kill him. You sent the gods to kill him. Oh, Bernard, I killed him. Ah, are you crazy? Are you not the one that asked me to send the gods to kill him for refusing to give you five million naira after the initial ten million naira that you squandered? I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, the wise one. I am sorry. I am sorry. Drop the money in your hand and get out before I send that same girl to come and kill you right here. Uh -uh. We are just starting this contract too. I heard that my late brother has plenty money in his bank account. That is my next target now. The wise one. 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 Hey, after all we talked about, you are still this moody. You need to cheer up there. Hmm? It's going to be all right. Hey, hey I, I forgot to tell you. Your father was here last week. He said he went to your house, you were there. Anyway, I told him he would return this week. So now he knows that he has a daughter after my husband has died. Please, as far as I'm concerned, I don't have a father anymore. Bimpe, you can't say that. Please don't say that. See. I told him to his face that what he did to you was very, very wrong. Haba, marrying a man that is not from your tribe against his wish is not reason enough for him to abandon his only daughter, knowing fully well that your mother is late. You know what he did now? Uh, honestly, he's sorry. He's still saying he's sorry. Hello? Oh, okay, you're almost there. We'll meet up with you now. Yes, we'll meet up with you now. Thank you. Um. He's a buyer for the house. Okay. And Bridget, do you still think it's a good idea to sell this house? To me, that is the best thing to do. Especially now that your brother-in-law has taken away everything in the house, including the landed um, documents. That's your brother-in-law. He does things unthinkable. As you advised, I've already sworn an affidavit that the papers were stolen along with other documents. Okay. And I spoke with that, my late husband's friend, the one that works in the Ministry of Works. Okay. And he's going to help me for to copy the papers from their own file in the office. So at least we can use that one to sell the... Okay. Let's just go so that, you know, you know it's okay. Got here at the same time. Yes, good afternoon. 
thank you. Thank you. You really keep the time. <laughs> thank you. Uh, well, so this is the house. Okay. And um, this work, well, they can see there's the plantation there and this is person. Good afternoon, Ma. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Are you looking Good for somebody? Afternoon. Looking for somebody. Yes. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I am new here. Also. My husband just bought the house and we moved in yesterday. Bought which house? This house. But, uh, 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 um, um, sorry, um, there's a mix-up somewhere. There's a mix-up somewhere. Ah. What Did embarrassment what is, is this? On? Why did you bring us here? Well, you it's not like that, sir. Ah, it is not like that, we madam. Didn't... It's not like that. We heard what the woman said. Ah. My dear, <laughs> what are we still <laughs> waiting for? <laughs> hey, just, let's go. <laughs> Bernard. You traveled out of the village without telling anyone. Where did you go? Oh. Edda, who told you that uh, I traveled? Okay, I, I didn't go anywhere. Ah. Uh -uh. Who is a baby here? Bernard! You didn't go anywhere. And we had a meeting here yesterday and day before. You are not there. Must I attend every meeting? Ah. Uh, well, well. Um, hey. Bingpe called from the city and told me all the properties of our late husband that you have sold, including a personal house. Uh -uh. Point of correction, Edda. My late brother's property. Uh -uh. He's being paid not uh, Henry's wife. Oh. I disagree. Since all of you refused to, uh, to uphold the tradition of our land, <laughs> you left me alone. Eh? And I told you that I am capable. When you asked me what I was going to do, where she was going, I told you that she will come and give you answer. <laughs> Don't you have the answers now? Yeah. Don't you? Bernard. Bernard. <laughs> you they play with fire. And fire go burn you. I am ready to be burned. <laughs> please, please. Please, Bernard. Leave this poor woman and child alone with the rest of the property. <laughs> no way. I am not true with her. I will finish her. <sighs> <laughs> uh, Bernard, I want you to know that you are on your own. And God knows that we have warned you. You have not seen anything yet. <laughs> yes, I am not true with her. <sighs> that witch, eh? <sighs> she will call you about my next action. <sighs> Stay tuned. Bernard! 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 Thank you. Today is the last day given to pay Felix school fees. If not, he will be sent out of school. Hmm? What do we do now? I was hoping my husband would send the money I requested from him. But he's promising next week again. Eh? He had some issues with his bank in the US. Honestly, I'm getting more and more confused. I don't know. The very week my husband died, that was the week we moved all our money into his own personal account, my joint account, for that big contract that he got. Even my own personal money, we moved everything into that account. So everything is in that same account. I don't know what to do. I might have to look for another, maybe a good public school for him to go to. They chase him away from that school. It is well. Hello, my uncle Kusheyan. What's the last name of your little husband? I'm Don Pedro. His first name? James. Huh. Any other name? Henry. He was born on the 17th of June, 1971. Yeah, 
I hope all is well. Somebody came for the death certificate of this man two days ago. Ah. Yeah, bringing all the needed documents from court to show that he's the next of kin to the late Dr. Drew. That can't be right. He said the family needs the certificate to have access to his money in the bank. I even asked him of the wife and the children of the deceased. He said the wife died two years ago. Uh -huh. And the only child is a minor. Ha, uh oh my God. That's what he said. He said he needs the certificate to collect the money for the son's education. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, what is this now? Oh God. When are you crying? Ha. Why? I am the wife of the deceased. I am Mrs. Don Pedro. Ha. I don't understand what is. It means that this person is trying to gain access to my husband's account. I am sure that I am the next of him on all of his records. The only other person is my son, and he's the second next of king. That was a wise husband. Hey, God. That is what uh, a sensible husband oh. and wife should do. Your spouse should be your next of king. You should have access to everything you have in case of death. Hey. What am I supposed to do? I am tired. I am tired. My house, I don't have access. My house, I'm living with someone else. My son is trying in school. I don't have any money anywhere. What am I supposed to do? I need this certificate to have access to his money in his account. Please, who is this person? What exactly is his name? I will be not giving him the certificate. No. Although we have processed it, huh. I asked him to come back please, for it no, today. No, no, please, you can't get. He has no, he's not going to have any business. What are you doing here? So what do you want in this place? What are you doing here? You tell me what exactly it is that you are doing in this place. Eh, eh, uh, 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 who is this woman? I don't understand. You're asking who I am. Do you know her? Uh, where is my late brother's death certificate? Which death certificate? You can look. You ask me, you? You asked me to come for it today. You know I have completed my payment. Which payment? To that man. Please, he has no business with that certificate. That is my husband's death certificate. He has no business collecting it. No. This uh, is the one that wants to collect uh, it. Uh, listen, listen. Now, I know that you are a witch. I am a witch. Can you both listen to me? Can you both listen to me? Now, when a controversial issue like this happens, in National Population Commission, we don't issue such certificates. Now you have only two options. Is it that the two of you go back home and settle this issue? You come back with the right document stating who to collect the certificate. And the second option is for you to go to court and settle it. Then you return with the court's decision. Sir, there is nothing to settle here. I am the next of kin to this. I am the wife. See what you are doing. What's the ability? See, I am living on this. You are not going to get this money, Mr. Ma. See, I know the law of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I am the bona fide blood brother, blood brother of my late brother. Be best. You are a witch. I would like to call the security, please. Call the security and get her arrested. Because I am coming to get my late brother's death certificate. You see, I promise. I will deal with you, and you will regret it. I swear, I'm not to marry this witch. Uh, um, woman, woman, see, there's nothing we can do. See, we can't issue the certificates. We can't issue. Cheers. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. That's okay, that's okay. Joseph! Joseph! Yes, Mama. Please come. 
Joseph. Yes, come, 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 come. Let me tell you something, come. Oh, my I'm coming, I'm coming. You get your drink, you get your drink. Just listen to me. I'll get my drink. Yes. Can you, can you go? Listen, 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 listen. Listen, Joseph, can you go to your room and play with your iPad? And you cannot take it. No, okay, I'll get you a drink. I'll, I'll get you a drink. Mm -hmm. Helen, please get Joseph a drink. Now go to your room and play with your iPad. No, no, no. Helen will give you a drink. You want a drink? Yes. Okay, so go to your room. I like Not it. this one. Joseph, please go to your room. Yes, just go to your room. Okay. Thank you. This way, this way. Don't fall. Then I go that way, go that way, go to your room. Good boy, that's my boy. <sighs> that's okay. Stop crying. Now that you have told me all the story, take your drink. I'm okay, ma. I'm, I'm okay, thank you. I am not going to tell you my story until you take a sip. Yeah. And that's better. Don't worry, my dear. God is taking over your matter. I'm sure God arranged our meeting each other at the National Population Commission. I went there to process the birth certificate of my grandson. And then I heard everything that happened. Hmm. I've been there before. I've had similar experience and traveled the same lane. Hmm. My name is Olufunke Dokas Usman. I'm a Yoruba lady, um, Christian, and I got married to an Aousa Muslim convert. We actually met while we were in Sweden. And we got married, and everything was going on well. We had two daughters. My husband decided to embark on the project back home in Nigeria and got his elder brother to supervise the project. And, my dear, I am not comfortable with us sending money to your brother to build a house for us in Nigeria. Two years now, we have nothing to show for it. But what else do we want? My brother keeps sending pictures of the development from time to time. Mm. Pictures. Mm -mm. Pictures. Have you not heard of several stories of people sending pictures of buildings only for them to discover that they are all fake? Ha, what do you mean? Are you now saying that my own brother should not be trusted? I haven't said that. I'm only saying that we need to be wise and we need to put history in perspectives so that we, we can wisdom demand that we need to learn from the past so that we don't fall into the same error. When it comes to issues of money and all of that, we have to be careful. He later agreed with me and decided to travel to Nigeria. <sighs> One thing I noticed was he kept asking that we take pictures. I never suspected anything. Little did I know that he was asking us to take those pictures for his memorial. The second day after he arrived in Nigeria, I received a phone call that changed my entire life. Hello? Um, yes, yes. Who is this? What? 
What? Accident? D did you just say? Did you just say accident? Where? How? The telephone conversation told me that he had an accident. Not knowing that it was just deceiving me. My husband had passed up. Oh. Immediately, I took the next available flight back to Nigeria. Only to meet his body in the mortuary. He was killed by hired assassins Jesus. on the way to checking on the purported building. Jesus. So what about his, his brother? <laughs> his brother. His brother was later discovered to be the one who arranged for the hired assassin to kill his own brother. His blood brother? Hmm. Hmm. Rather than the family <sighs> focusing on the brother, they all teamed up against me, accusing me that I murdered their son. I suppose because I'm not from their tribe. And more importantly, I knew they were not happy with me that he got converted to Christianity through me. Not only was I accused of killing my husband, the family joined forces together mm. and forcefully took over everything mm. that we had jointly worked for. Mm. If I say everything, my dear daughter, everything, leaving me and our two children naked. I couldn't go back to Sweden. I left the two children in Sweden since they are citizens. I had to start my life all over again. In the course of the trials and travails, my eyes got open to several issues going on to what I was passing through. I then realized that it wasn't more about tribe or religion, but it was just a cultural attitude to women who have lost their spouse. Almost all have been accused of having been the cause of death to their husband. I recall an incident that I learned about that time. A young Yoruba woman who got married to another Yoruba person. Immediately, the husband died. She was forcefully married to another man within her husband's family. And despite the fact that she had five children already for her late husband, nobody cared to take care of those children. The new husband was only interested in having more children with her. They also took over everything the husband left for her. So my dear, you are not alone. But God is going to fight for you. But how did you now get to this level of is this not your house? It is my house. So, Olubeja ni? Olubeja oko. The defender of the defenseless. The defender of the widow. Olubeja. The defender. Who is this defender? Ha. Huh. Olubejani. Olubejani. Obeni nija kero obo nija. The Almighty. The one who has never lost a battle. The day I handed over 
the battle of my life to him. He took over. He won the battle against my wicked in-laws without me raising a finger. He fought for me and I held my peace according to his word in Exodus 14, 14. Olubeja. Please, please, eh? Please tell me, who is this Olubeja? He is the I am that I am. I am that I am. Ma, please, just, just tell me his name. Who is, who is this person? Jesus Christ. Jesus. I know Jesus. I'm a Christian. My baptismal name is Mary. <laughs> and I go to church. My daughter, have you at any time accepted him as your personal Lord and Savior? Yeah. So this is the death certificate. Hmm. What Bernard cannot get does not exist. <sighs> Hello? Yes, bank manager. Thank you very much. I have collected his death certificate. Yes, the man you gave me his contact assisted me. Uh, uh, yes, today is Friday already and uh, I will be with you first thing on Monday morning. Your percentage? Intact. <laughs> Your 30% percentage is intact. <laughs> yes, yes. And so I, I will be with you first thing Monday morning. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. 170 million. Smile. <laughs> 170 million. 170 million. 170 million is mine. Congratulations. You are now a new creature. You are born again. Mm -hmm. All things have passed away. And all things have become new. Congratulations. Thank you. Now sit down. Because I still have several things to talk to you about. In particular, about this decision that you have just made. Mm. I have a request. I would like you to move into my house. Because we will have some prayers that we have to pray together. Is that okay by you? Take your drink. Can I get you something to eat? Uh, maybe later. I'll eat something later. Okay. Exodus. Yes, the book of Exodus, chapter 22. Hmm. Start from verse 22. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you there? Yes, I oh, am. Yeah, yeah, read 22, read 22. Do not take advantage of the widow hey. or the fatherless. Hey. If you do and they cry out to me, <laughs> I will certainly hear their cry. <laughs> My anger will be aroused. Yeah. I will kill you with the sword. <laughs> your wives will become widows hey. and your children fatherless. <laughs> yes. That is the, the word mighty of God. name of Jesus. That is the word of God. Mm. What are we doing right now? We are crying out for God. Crying unto the Lord. Yes. And God, who cannot lie? God, who cannot fail in his word? He has promised yes. that when we cry out mm. unto mm. him, he will hear our cry. Ha! We are going to pray. Father Lord, let this word come to pass. Let this word be fulfilled as a 
it is written in Exodus 22, 22. In the name of Jesus, we know not a God that will I. Neither are you the son of man that you will bend. Have you said a thing? Will you not do it? Have you said a thing? Will you not bring it to pass? Can you please extend your mercy to Bernard again for the last time? My holy begotten son, I have heard you. I'm giving Bernard one more chance. Yes, um, see, 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 see. Now 18 million I go pay. You. See, there is nothing where I go do with that house. I go pull them down and build another one. And see, uh, okay. Uh, oh, 20 million is okay. 20 million is okay. I will send the money to you on Monday. Is that okay? Bye. Hello, my baby. How are you? I'm fine too, my sweet potato. <laughs> I miss you. And yeah. Ah, that thing. I don't forget now. <laughs> what do you call the name of that phone, sir? Samsung uh, Ultra. Yeah. Which one be that one? <laughs> 1.2 million. Just one phone. Hey, you go take and call in, Jay. Swimming pool, dear, no? You know, I know, I know, I go buy him, I go buy him. See, uh, when I see you on Monday, the first thing you will see that I will give to you before you even greet me at the phone. <laughs> and so let's meet for that hotel. And let's meet for the hotel on Monday. Hey, I miss you. Hey, my sweet potato. <laughs> okay, bye. And no. <laughs> oh. See now, like this. You won't take waste your brother money to buy big, big phone for small, small girls. Huh? Hmm. Hey, what do you concern you? Ha! With what I use my money for. Ah! Eh? And I know, say, the thing where they pay you. They say, you know, say, I won't marry another one. Ah. I will marry the third <laughs> wife. Eh? Huh? Yes! You, you. I know, say, that's what is paying you. In fact, I will marry the fourth wife. Ah. As you see me, I feel married 20 wives. Your money? <laughs> How your brother's money? Mm -hmm. Repent. Uh huh. My dear husband, repent. Yes. Me, I repeat now. Repent. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Go give the money to the wife. That is it. 
She's right for her. Give it to her and ah. apologize. Uh -huh. <laughs> we know I lose you. Uh -huh. mm. Repent. Uh -huh. mm. uh. <laughs> Pastor Uju, Abi, eh, Evangelist Uju, <laughs> you don't even sweet for your mouth. Ah. <laughs> Repent. Mm. Ah. Repent. Ah. <laughs> Repent, repent, repent. See, eh? listen to me, two of you now. I go so send you to go and meet that cursed woman. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Useless wives. I said, come out, come out from my front. I said, come out from my front. Uh, good, good, good morning, sir. Oh, how are you, sir? Please Fine. have your seat. Okay. Uh, I am here to see the bank manager. Yes, I am the bank manager. Ah. No. Ah. Sorry. The management is shoveled the bank managers on Friday. So the bank manager that was here before handed over to me this money. He's presently on his way to Maduguri. I was posted here from Ibada. Uh, ah. uh, actually, I am here to collect the money in my brother's bank account. Uh, you see, the bank manager told me, uh, I mean the one that was here before you were transferred here. He had promised me that uh, once I present his uh, death certificate, okay. uh, I will be giving the money today. <laughs> okay. mm. uh, it's the authentic death certificate of my late brother. Uh, I collected it from the National Population Commission. It's authentic. Oh, oh, uh, oh. that's Mr. James Eri Don Pedro. Yes, I saw it on my system this morning. Uh, Oh, it has been processed. It's only waiting for my approval. The name rings a bell. I know this man. His face looks familiar. Please, who are you to him? Ah, uh, I, I am his brother and his nest of king. What about his wife? His wife? Uh, his wife. Wife is, his wife is late. Oh. Oh, sorry about that. Thank you. Thank you, sir. As the next of king, I hope you are aware that we stand for both his asset and liability. Ah, his asset? Uh, uh, my brother has no liability. No, no, no. Yes. He has one around 70 million naira in his account. I, I told you. I told you. My brother was so rich. He was so rich. So hardworking. He's uh, nobody. He will end up dead. It's okay, sir. Thank you. I swear. Well, uh, Mr. Bernard, your brother has a debt of 350 million naira. Mm. And when you deduct 170 million naira from that, he holds the bank 180 million naira. Thank God you are here. As the next of king, you have to sign a document to take over his liability. Moreover, an official of the bank will have to follow you home so that they can know your house for security reasons. And please let us know your repayment plan for the debt. Bank manager, is it not the next of king that will take over his uh, asset and liability? Uh, yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, well, what concerns me? You are the next of king. According to your words. Myself? Yes. No! I said I am the next to his nest of king. You said you are the nest of king. It's my word. I am the nest to the nest of king. That was what I said. Okay, okay. Mr. Bernard, you'll have to come with the nest of king 
And when he is coming, the nest to the nest of Cain, she also come with him. Okay, sir. <laughs> Mr. Bernard, please come, 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 sir. Please come. What is this I'm saying? When we don't know what to do. What is wrong with this man? Or whom you should run to. Why is he in so the much haste? Ready to tear you down. Let me see if I can get this for oh, your hope seems lost. And you've lost everything. There's someone closer to you than you could ever think. My God is a miracle worker. Help to the helpless. He is a great defender. Hello. Hello. Please, who am I speaking with? You called. Who would you like to speak with? Oh, sorry, madam. Please, I want to speak with uh, Mrs. Bengpe Don Pedro. Yes, this is Bengpe. For real? <laughs> yes, I am Bengpe. This is the bank manager of Trust Bank, Market Branch. Please, how about your husband? Um, he's late. Oh. Sorry about that. Please, I would like to see you in our bank. When can you come around? I hope I'm not in any trouble. Madam, you are very safe. I need to see you and it is very urgent. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment. Can I come over now? You can come. Thank you. Okay, all right. I'll be on my way now. Yeah. Thank God you're even here. Good afternoon. Um, so the bank manager just called and he said they want me to come to the office right now. Now. Which bank? My husband's bank. So any problem? I don't know. That's what I asked. just said. I should come now and it's urgent. So what are you waiting? For? I was I was just finishing the call now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, okay. <sighs> What's going on? This man said Mr. Henry's wife is dead. Thank God I saw the phone number on the system. Oh, Mr. Ahmed, mm. am I right? Yes, yes. I'm yes. just trying to get the names. I've come to inform you of the incident that happened in the banking hall just now. What incident is that? A man slumped on his way out of the bank. What? This is what I was saying. The cameras in the main banking hall are not working. Oh, the man that is that will fix it should be on his way. They, they worked on Friday, so they must have gone bad over the weekend. Okay. So how is the, the man? He has been rushed to the hospital by head of security. I want to join him now. Okay, please. Give me a call. All right, sir. So as to know his condition, please. All right, sir. All right, sir. What's the meaning of this? I just resumed this morning as the new branch manager. Mm -hmm. However, do you know a man named Mr. Bernard Don Pedro? Yes, sir. That, that is my brother-in-law. I hope he did not do anything funny. He was here this morning with your husband's death certificate <sighs> to claim all the money in his account. Hey, he said he is the nest of king and that his wife is dead. Ah. And that was why I sounded surprised when I was on phone with you this morning. <laughs> Sir, this man has taken over all my late husband's properties. The only thing that is left now is the money in his account. And now he wants to take that one away from me also. Hey, Big Bay, take it easy. It is well. Manager, I hope you did not grant him that request. Actually, I suspected him when I saw him this morning. 
<sighs> I opened this account for your late husband several years ago. Then I was a bank clerk, and that was how we became friends. Mr. Bernard was your husband's next of kin then. Mm. But after the wedding, your husband requested that I should change the next of kin to you. <laughs> Eventually, we lost contact after I was posted to the eastern part of the country. Huh. I looked at your husband's account this morning when Mr. Bernard was here for verification before I could transfer the money into his account. I discovered that your husband owes us 350 million naira. 350? Why he has 170 million naira in the savings account. <sighs> that means your husband is owing us 180 million naira. Hey, hey, God. It was at this point that he denied that he's not the nest of king, but the next to the mm. nest of king. Ah. Next to the next of king? the meaning of that. Hey, wonder shall never end. I don't understand that too. Sir, I'm the next of kin. Eh? And, oh goodness, I'm ready to take up and face any liability that this brings. I don't even know where I'm going to, where I'm going to start from or gather money from. So, I know that he mentioned he was going to borrow some money for this project. But I never mentioned there was that amount of money. 350 million. He knows how much I hate loans from banks. With a passion. Eh? Where do I start from? It's okay, madam. That's okay. It's okay, madam. As Mr. Bernard was leaving my office, I noticed an online transaction in your husband's account. I called him back, but he did not listen. Transaction? Somebody is moving money out of that account again. Hey! Hold on, madam. A sum of 820 million naira was paid by Devenco International into your late husband's savings account. Devenco. So, presently, your husband owes us no money. Jesus. Then we owe him. Jesus. Hey, sweet. That Devenco, I know that that is the company that my, he did the project for, the contracts for. The project I was only talking, talking to you about. <laughs> That means the money for that project was paid this money. With plus and minus, your husband has 640 million naira in his account. Jesus. See. Hey, hey, manager. I don't understand. How much is in, in, in her husband's account? That's what I just mentioned now. 640 million naira. As the nurse of King, you can come at any time to have access to this amount of money. With the death certificate, Mr. Bernard brought this money. The entire document needed to process the money is complete. And as the next of king, you can come at any time to have access to this money. Madam, I will only appeal that you open an account with us with this money. Manager, she doesn't have an option. You have to open an account in your bank. Abby? What? Why am I looking? Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Baby, see what God has done. Ah. Oh, Mr. Ahmed. Yes. How are you? How far with that man? The doctor said he suffered a stroke from uh, high blood pressure. In fact, half of his body is paralyzed right now. Oh. Mm -mm. Is that his staff or one of your clients? He's one of our customers. He stomped on his way out of the bank this morning. Oh. This could be as a result of the economic pressure people are facing in this country. Oh. <laughs> God will heal him in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Like Thank you, madam. So, Mr. Ahmed, how do we identify him so that we can link up with his family? The nurses found a copy of his ID. His life. This man was in my office this morning. Oh. Mr. Bernard Don Pedro. Bernard Don Pedro. 
Is yes. it? Please, can I, can, can I see that picture, please? Okay. He's the one! Ha! Oh, you Benjamin! Oh, Benjamin Jackeru of Bonija! My defender! Hey! Thank you for fighting my battles for me! Jehovah Lubeja! of my enemy Thank you for fighting my battle Stop. 